Hello, and I know you can't see a title, but this is Hob the Definitive Edition on the Nintendo Switch. This is my second time buying this game. I got it on Steam with from a lovely gift that one of my co-workers gave me, which was a Steam gift card, which I hadn't played many Steam games. I saw this one on a very, probably few years old now, stream from Team Four Star, and loved the art style, so I got it. Unfortunately, by the time I got around to playing it on my computer, either my computer wasn't up to snuff, or something, it wasn't, my computer wasn't compatible with upgrades that had happened to the game, so it just ended up not running well. It wasn't so much... I couldn't play it, but the issue was the audio, the audio to the visuals was off. Like, there was something wrong with the sync there, so I never got to around back to playing it, really. So, I saw it on, come out for the Switch for the Definitive Edition. Do you want in your journey, experience how as it was originally released? I'm going to go with the Definitive. I feel like there's a reason it's called the Definitive Edition, so I want to see what the Definitive is. And normally I'm not that kind of person, but I think the visuals look better on my computer. Or maybe I'm remembering it differently, but it is still a very pretty game, I think. I may be remembering it differently. I think the outlines just look a lot thicker. Old Z artist sprint. Speed a jump. It's definitely a very cute game. These, I believe, are the checkpoints. So, like, if I die for any reason, I respawn here. Or if I need... Maybe when fast travel gets enabled, also. Oh, it's a dodge roll. Here's goop. Now blocking our path. It's such a pretty game, and I enjoy it. And this is an indie game, and hopefully I remember the name, or I will look up the name, the developer, before I end the video. Part of me wants to say Runic, but I also feel like that might be wrong. Okay, that's covered in goop, so no jumping over there. Another checkpoint. There you go. Oh, okay. That's how it... You literally punch the platform. The only thing I don't like is not having control of the camera, but it is a, for how the camera is positioned, it makes sense.
What are we doing? Oh, there's ah! <laughs> Fell off the ledge. And that thing just infected the goop on my arm. Or not. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so it is doing a little opening credits thing. So maybe it'll show. There's my arm. Ah. I remember little bits in that part. I do remember. I also remember the main character kind of screaming, I thought. No, he doesn't have an arm. Either. Yes, Runic Games. I was right. Bar my willingness to buy this a second time, even though I had issues with it on my computer, and rather than just, hey, I can wait till I get a decent computer, because I'll eventually get one, was... It is... What I did play of it was smooth. It is a cute, fun game, and honestly, I have no idea when I'm gonna get a better computer, hopefully soon, but it was something I figured it's worth it because if I just enjoy looking at this game, and if it means more pretty games, then yes, I will buy it a second time. I am in. This controls fairly well. Oh, and it's very stylized, very unique. E at least by my perspective, of it. Can I? No, I cannot actually do anything with arm. Don't know where I'm supposed to be going right now. Over that way, no. Maybe I need to climb. Wait. I don't have to do the jump around thing because now I have a nice robot arm. Jump across. stumbly
got a sword fragment. Teamwork! Also, this robot, I'm pretty sure some people have thought of it as well, reminds me of Bastion. It's actually, I'm pretty sure there is a skin with him sort of covered in moss and stuff. But that is absolutely looks like best from Overwatch to me. Oh, this is upgrade singer magic. That's not what I need. I need thing to get sword. I'm guessing since that rotates back in, you can get other sword fragments. I have no idea. I never got that far. Yeah, super reminded me of Bastion. Especially with the bird. You have a bird. What is this? And the grass and the environment cuts. Which I love that detail. It's such a minor detail. Granite is a fairly common detail, but at the same time, it's just like, you don't entirely need it. This I love even more. Just, hey, look at the area. Look at the environment. And it gives you an idea of what the environment is right now. But it also just lets you, hey, look at the pretty. I feel like there's a puzzle to this. I don't remember what that is. Oh, yes. Okay, come on. Just a little finicky. Uh. Ah. Pull, pull this out. Come on. Hold. Over. Oh, wait. Mm, here? Yes. Or not. Okay, it is. This was an angle proper. Okay. E. Cross up. I see what looks like some sort of enemy creature. I can't punch through the wall, it looks like. I'm not at that level of strong. Not. Do it that quick. 
plate yet either. That's a big dude. I guess I'm gonna have to deal with big dude. Okay. Wish I knew that when I was doing that before. Damn it. Okay, so this is Zelda. You get three hits. Oi. Oh, I'm shocked I didn't die there. Okay, so he dropped a lot of health. So, not a huge. As long as you don't die during the encounter, you might make it out of it and have enough health to progress. Okay, not what I want to do. I want to jump. You don't want to jump. So, since you don't want to jump, tells me I'm not supposed to be jumping, I guess? Yeah. Except for when I do that. There. Why weren't you doing- I may have pressed the wrong button. You switch between Xbox and PlayStation and Nintendo enough. A, B, and X, Y, and Z all lose <laughs> any sense. Okay, so bridge is broken. Another checkpoint here. I think what I also like about this is this is an untold game. Like the robot wasn't speaking English to me, but it gestured. And I knew what to do. Is this upgrading the robot arm? It is upgrading the robot arm. So this is an actual... Hey, now you can do this move thing. It... Hold X. Now I got a big punch. Climb. Uh, up. Over. Now I can break through these walls. Okay, it needs to recharge. So there is a limit. Please. And a round pound. And a new bridge. Oh, this is the platform from the entrance? Yes! So I am done here. I got the punchy upgrade, so I can create more punchy shortcuts. And the robot came!
Oh god, here's the map. So this is definitely Legend of Zelda reminiscent to me. Granted, I don't know if it has the dungeness, but the style of gameplay, even this menu sort of reminds me of it. Of it, definitely this menu reminds me of it. But it's not one for one. I think this does have it. This definitely has a unique style to it. And has some differences of, hey, you have a freaking quest marker. Which I don't fully remember having. There's my upgrade hub. Yeah, that. This tower is the fast travel tower. Which will be very important to get back to upgrade hub. Hey, buddy. Taking a seat. Huh. Okay. Can't do anything with that. I can't cut those down. Oh, but I got a butterfly. And I might have smushed it, but I got a butterfly. I can't get on top of it, so... Falling would probably kill me. So... Pretty sure there were more ways back this way of walls I could break down. Yep, right there, for one. Come on, climb up. Giraffe thing I'm above. And I get help from cutting down grass. Yep, it is absolutely making me think of Zelda. This, I'm pretty sure, is the spot where my arm got infected. Okay, I'm not trying to hit you. Do not want to aggro. Cute giraffe thing. Okay, I got 12 thing robots. Part of me feels lost and feels like I sh Oh, wait, over here. the edge of the earth and I did of course I did buddy any more hints no I feel like it should be from over here But that didn't open anything. biggest point right now is I can't see if there is something there for me to do anything with I can't see it so maybe coming around it from this angle I 
No, it's literally just wall. Is that just like a secret? Okay, doesn't look like I'm going to be finding anything progressive so much, but I just really wanted to show off the game, game in terms of visuals for the most part. I do think it controls very well, and I, I do like that it's not telling me exactly, well it tells me exactly where to go, it just doesn't tell me exactly how to get there. I'll see you next time.